using true type fonts in BES embroidery lettering software. We're going to go with just a normal um, font today, just on a straight line path. So select normal and come down into our field. And I'm going to type true type font. And then over on this section, what we're going to do, this is in our properties section, we're going to highlight our font, put a check mark in true type font. I'm just going with OWO Nelly or OWO um, DNA, which is one of my favorites, but basically you can use your drop down. And this is going to show any fonts that are in your computer, so you may not have the ones that I have. <clears throat> so I'm selecting that font and apply. Now, once this is um, converted into Stitch, I'm going to show you a 3D view, and I'm going to show you what we want to correct. If you look at the top of this T, you'll see that there's a really ugly long stitch here, and all the stitches are going the same direction. What we want to do is change these going into our Properties tab from Standard Fill to Column and apply. You'll see the difference in the font. There you go. You can see now that the satin stitch follows the um, follows the stitch or follows the letter and it's just a much prettier looking stitch. So anyway that's what we do and just save in the format that you would like to utilize save as. Right here I usually save first as the BRF and I already did that here and then I come back and save it as the format type um, and I already did that here and we're done.